Another one. Give me a team, maybe. There we go. There's a bulldog. Okay, he's been rightly ended. Okay. Oh, he's driving away. That's engine transmission. Do this Panther Geo spotting. If he turns his turret towards us, that would be far better than shooting from behind, but there he goes. Very brave move. Got his gunner engine and transmission, so he's not going anywhere. And we'll get the follow-up shot on him really easily. Let's go a little bit more to the right. Then he goes. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to feature the Panther D, which has been moved to 5.3. Change was made by Gaijin. We had four warning for a whole week, but here it is. The last game features a 12 kill match just using the Panther itself. And uh, yeah, this thing can do very, very well in a full down tier. Now, one thing I want to point out before we get on with the rest of the video is now that 5.3 for Germany is super strong. We got the Nashorn, the Tiger H1, we got the Panther D now, and the Panzer 470. And there's other tanks as well that can do surprisingly well at lower BRs and this BR itself. Now, if I was to run this lineup, I'd probably bring the Whirlwind along with me as well. Maybe even bring out the KV-1C. The really good thing about this is, even if you get a 6-3 game, you can still perform really well. Nashorn can take things out no problem at all. The Panther D is basically a glorified tank destroyer now. The Tiger, whenever you're going to mob things up late game, is just going to do very, very well on its own as well. And the Panzer 470 is an absolute pain in the ass to kill with a very strong gun. Same gun as the Panther. Now, for a bit of fun, I've been asked to bring out the ME410 B2U4. This thing's got a 50mm cannon that can pen 100mm from top down. It's got APHE as well. This thing can do very well at the BRs we're bringing out in, and we can penetrate pretty much anything from top down and from the side with this gun. Now, for the Panther itself, one of the things that makes this thing so strong is that the hull of this BR is practically impenetrable by APHE. Things like APDS and the Brits are going to easily clean through us, and the turret as well is pretty trolly. There's a lot of flat angles at 100mm, but at range, the US-75 and the Russian-76 just aren't going to do anything to us. Now, the main feature of the Panther isn't the armor, really. It's the gun. 75mm KWK-42. This thing has an insane APHE round. Check this out. 151mm at 100 meters. Ah, 30 degrees. This thing can cleave through jumbos and IS-1s, IS-2s with relative ease, and it's so easy to aim. It's flat firing, but the issue with the Panther D is its turret speed. 5.6 degrees a second. Now, like I said, this kind of plays like a glorified tank destroyer, but it can brawl in the right situation. I wouldn't go taking this out into the streets and, you know, <laughs> trying to do well against T-34-85s, and Shermans, but you can do it. It's a possibility. I would normally just use this tank at range, and I use our trolley armor, and uh, use our gun that does very well compared to the competitors at the BR. Anyway, let's go do some sniping. Okay, single cap Middle East. This is a really strange one, but there's a nice spot up here that we can kind of exploit, and we can do some proper sniping. We're in a safe spot right now. We should have a good overview of the main city and of the hell that comes down off of their spawn. Just have to be careful we don't get shot in the mantlet. I'm going to see a lot of this return to battlefield thing popping up for a little while. Just have to chill out here for a minute or two probably before people start turning up. We got a T20 that's on a flank. This guy's here as well. Nice kill on that guy. T14. I think we just made a video on <laughs> recently. But yeah, that we can easily go through his armor at this battle rating. That's a really unfortunate turn of events for this dude. It's a crying shame, honestly. And I feel guilty about that. This guy oh, wasn't paying attention to that corner for too long and. Just a shot on somebody. Where on earth did he go, though? 
He may be dead already, actually. M18. I think it's fighting somebody right now. There he is. That may be that T20. Oh, that was a bulldog. Then I need to watch that cross over there. Looks quite busy in that sector. Oh, I just saw a turret here as well. The shimmer might show face on this side. Let's keep our gun ready here. Too late. <laughs> I was checking the map there and uh, yeah, he crossed over. I shouldn't have done that. Sometimes that happens. I'm very distracted today. Oh, a guy just took out a PT-76 that was about to spawn camp us. Is that another tank over there though? No. No, it's not. Team's grabbing A right now. He's got bazooka tubes. Oh, almost. Oh, okay. It's an IS-1, I think. Oh, he backed up. Oh, no way. I hit a really, really strong part of his hull. Okay. <laughs> we luckily bounced that next shot. Oh, we got another guy there too. That's a jumbo, looks like. We just wait to see if he comes a little bit further forward. No, oh, he's driving this way. The side shot would be glorious. Oh, he's just waiting there. I don't know what this guy wants to do. He's got a lot of vehicles to deal with. Which he's doing right now. This guy's play is gonna be. It is a jumbo. We got another guy on a sniper hill on that side. <laughs> so I can't even push this jumbo and help our team. God, oh, this guy's getting beat up though. He's dead. Someone tried to counter snipe me there, I wasn't... I didn't realise he was there. We need to be careful crossing over here. Now, I think we have to go start brawling. A T-25 is now dead as well, which is a very scary tank. I don't know if that guy can see me from the sniper hill itself. But we'll try and stay close to these rocks here and a little bit of cover. Try and help this Panzer 470. Enemy aircraft. Hopefully that Weber one spotted him. Panzer 470 just died to... Oh, hello. Okay, we don't longer have a Weber one for any assistance with this aircraft. Can I just come across? I'm gonna keep rolling past here and see if we can catch this other guy out that was on our left. He's behind this church. Very exposed from my right. M18. Oh, that's gonna cost us. Should have really been paying attention in that direction first. That's okay though. Okay, time to go on an aeroplane. Our plane's kind of lagging out a little bit. These things are popping in and out. A hundred ping, which is not ideal at all. Oh, this one, this one on nine's in trouble. I'll go try and help him out. That's a big boy. Did the right thing there. This one on nine is just going to keep turning, and then I can't help him. This guy's probably realised I'm on him now. It's a yak. 
Come on, 109. There we go. He's on fire. Okay, we can head back over to the battlefield now. Yeah, if you ever, uh, if you ever need someone's assistance, and they're in a much heavier plane than yours, don't start turning like a maniac. Otherwise, they won't be able to help. This guy's gonna maybe kill me actually, even though he's on fire. Okay, he's dead now. A gentle turn will do it. A couple of, oh, we got more than a couple of targets down here, actually. It's a good hit on him, but nothing. Okay, got him crit. That's his whole, almost his whole turret crew out. Oh, we got an enemy aircraft up. Oh, it's Bazooka 2 boys back. This 109 might get to him in time. He's going to try and ram me, it looks like. <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. <laughs> Mr. Blue. And there you go, that's how you bait somebody. Now my pilot's injured, which is going to cause us a lot of sorts of problems. One, control of my aircraft is going to be very limited, and the accuracy of my cannon is going to suffer too. Oh. See, they removed the message that says that your pilot has been injured, and it makes your plane still fly really bad. So, they didn't actually remove it, they just took away the message. It's like an EA thing to do. A couple of tanks down here. Good to go one. Just missed that one. I think I saw another enemy plane earlier. Looks like we're gonna lose this game though. It's unfortunate. To be expected though. Didn't do very much help in the beginning. Fifty cal now. Another hit on this guy. There we go. We got him crit. Breaches out, but it's not going to help very much. Looks like we lost this game. Yes. Okay. Deja vu. Same map. <laughs> I'm much brighter this time, though. Looks good. Oh, three Captain Izzy is one of my favorites, especially on this side. Got a lot of long-range sniping and stuff we can do. Backed up by a few teammates now as well. In our 5-7 game. Spotted a NAS horn as well as a 5-3. I'm not sure what we've got at 5-7. Oh, we got a T-34-85E over there. And a Tiger E as well. I think we've got the, the a good makings over this side. I need to make some room for this NAS horn. Because he can't sit out in the open like I possibly can. I don't want to kind of cog him into a bad position. So we'll see where he's going. We can maybe make some wiggle room for him too. Got a turn setting up behind that rock as well. He's got a nice autoloader. And we're not playing against Russia this time, only the Brits and the US. So most things we face we should be able to kill with ease. My teens have gone down to the cap. Now is that a Jackson that's there? I need to wait till this tree's fallen down properly. It may actually be a comet that's sitting there. Oh, that's a Jackson for sure. There he goes. Big old slugger. And we didn't get there quick enough to kill that M18, which I'm kind of sad about, but such is life. They're very fast boys. They can get into position very quickly, so that's why they're there. <laughs> If he pushes up this side, we'll get him. Oh, we got a guy in the split here. What is this? M6. He's dead too. Poor guy, then. I wonder what he's got. No, that, wait a minute. We're at 5 3. So he might just have a 4 7 lineup, and that's it. 18 might push up here. kind of see his commander's head. Oh, M18 just killed one of our teammates in the water down there. Is he going to come up? Or is he just going to sit there? We got a few enemies around that corner too. To the west. Okay. We got somebody there as well. Where I'd killed that Jackson before. He just got yeeted, another M18. 
Now that M18 is just defending that cab right now. Which is all he really needs to do. It's putting a lot of pressure on us. We're bleeding tickets pretty quickly. I don't want to surrender my good spot though. M4 just killed a buddy here as well. I want to take this tree out. Somewhere around this rock. 3485. You're quickly retreating as well. Oh, a non pen on that? Yeah, I hit the overlap. Can I bait this guy into a shot? Yes, I can. He's gonna fall back. And that's okay with me, honestly. Oh, he's coming back now. Oh, what a shot, dude. I am too high. Now we've got a no turret ring and a really long repair. Two crew, a long reload. And that's gonna put us at a disadvantage. I'm really sad I had that overlapping armor on that thing. But I killed him pretty easily through his manlet. But the overlap has just got enough armor to stop our shell going through. What is shooting at him? The Puvkov? I think that it is. Okay, we're repaired now. I don't want to re-peak that guy until he fires and he's fired so we can do that. Okay. Finally. I feel like I deserved that kill but we got him regardless. That P-47's probably got my name on that bomb right now. We got another guy here too. What are you? Another Sherman. Again! <laughs> the same, the same shot as before. And he's not moved. Well, he has now. No, he hasn't. I think he's just tucking in a little bit more. Yeah, he's gone now. We've got a guy just peeking out this side as well. That's some big bombs. <sighs> um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll take that as a bad shot. I have no idea how I survived that bomb either. Oh, I don't know what this guy doing. Wasn't quite reloaded, but we still got him. Another guy there too. More concerned about this hell guy. More bombs, bad ones this time. Okay, we got a crit on that T20, didn't kill him. That's fine though. Two guys on this corner as well. Artie's just giving me a little bit of cover to reverse out here. There goes another Sherman. This guy's now pushing. Oh, we got three vehicles down there. Now, if I didn't lose my loader before, we could have had a lot more kills here. A much easier time. Unfortunately, we do have a missing loader. And that's just how it be sometimes. Are we getting hedge part now? Possibly. Yeah, he just fired a shot at me preemptively. Is he dead now? No, he's just not peeking is all. I'm gonna back up slightly. Oh, he's coming back. Gotta load our engine and radiator. Now he might get his gunner back. And a chaffy can still kill me from the front, even at this range. I think I'm gonna risk it though. Drop an arty on me too. Now I've been scouted, so that's not ideal either. <laughs> Artillery's actually rocking me backwards and forwards. So the guy under the bridge has now been peppered. Oh, is this the T20 that's back? Yes, it is. Down he goes. Seven kills, my lucky number. Now we can maybe push this guy that's underneath this bridge. I think we're about to be bombed anyway. So we may as well make a move. We got plenty of kills under our hip. We may as well do something for our team now. This dude's still chilling under the bridge, I think. And I just seen someone up there too a second ago.
German still here. Uh, Tyler Chabas is gonna be the defining factor here. <laughs> Whether we win this engagement or not, he's right in here. That's a jumbo. We got him from behind. Okay, let's try and get this cap. We do have a couple of teammates pushing up to give us some support. That's an M19 and I don't really want to get a side shot on me. It's going to be too late, I think. Oh yeah, we're in trouble. What is Commander Loader? No gunner. Yes, my barrel were deep to do. Okay, we got his gunner that time. He's going to try and drive away though. Honestly, I'm going to let him. I've got teammates on here with me too. For this anti sees him. Okay, we got kind of lucky there. <laughs> he didn't damage my barrel and he never managed to get a side shot on me. He has to be kind of flat on, I think, for that 40mm to pen. But he can. It's definitely a possibility. We'll get a light tank over here. Or Chaffee, probably. Okay, engine's out. Let's get our loader back. There he goes. Verbal Wind managed to pick that kill up. 10 kills so far and we got a cab. He bounced a lot of shots but we also got penned at one time. Okay, our gunner's back up. Loader power. Loader, sorry. We have multiple opponents here. Okay. <laughs> that guy made some mistakes. And there goes... <laughs> there goes a double ace. There's a little bit up here we can kind of use to get a shot on this guy. Hopefully he doesn't see us. Well, if I knock this tree down he definitely will. Okay, nice to sneak that shot into it. It's a very powerful vehicle this. For 5-3. It took me a few games to kind of warm it up. 2 or 3 but... Oh, now we're here, we're doing the damage. Got all three cabs. I don't see much resistance happening now from the enemy team. They've depleted a lot of the reinforcements in the minute. M10 just died over that side. This guy's using smoke to push up by the looks of it. He may already be gone actually. Nothing much happening on this side. I'm gonna smoke here so we can kind of push safely away. Oh, that's not ideal at all. He's not spotted me though. <laughs> Poor Chaffee. He could have killed me very easily if he was paying attention. Oh no, that's not a good sound. Not again. We maybe get behind this rock, we should be okay. I'm not sure where they dropped the bomb. It must be a PEA. Or something. Oh yeah. A friendly. <laughs> no one, uh, No friendlies were harmed in the making of this video from bombs, thankfully. <laughs> that was a very high eat, Mr. The Eggy Thump. <laughs> I think he did that on purpose. So there we have the Panther D. In a down tier, this thing is going to dominate. But, is 6.3? Really, is it going to cause that much damage? 
I think for the sake of all the 4.3s that are in the game, T34, 57, your T14s, Calliope's, etc., things at that battle rating are really going to suffer against this thing. Now, at the hands of an experienced tanker, this thing is going to be awesome, but if for a newer player that doesn't know how to use their hull to traverse or map positioning, is it going to be that good? I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Much love and bye-bye.